Yes, it's interesting coming here from America when everything feels very new. And in America, it's a little chaotic right now. Um, it's wonderful to come here and just feel the history of this place. It's incredible. Um, there's definitely, you can feel the tradition. You can feel how people treat each other. It's very, I don't know, it's very loving, I think. You know, people are so friendly and, um, you know, they're very, um, you know, they show their love, hugging and kissing, and it's just beautiful countryside. So it's, it's wonderful, and I want to move here. So for us to get to play, even to keep playing, and especially in places like this, we're just so grateful, you know. So it's going to be really, we're excited to play there. It's going to be really fun. And to have that just incredible backdrop is going to be I mean, I'm going to I'm going to be turned around backwards the whole time. <laughs> um, that's fantastic. I mean, it's it seems like the kind of place that even if you're a huge artist that plays like stadiums, you would want to come and play in this just this incredible surroundings, even if even if the audience is smaller. And what a cool thing to get to see people that are that huge um, in a, you know, in a venue that's not a stadium, you know, for me, when I was growing up, the songs that got on the radio, those were the ones we grew up with and we learned to drive and we had our first boyfriend and we spent our summers and, you know, all of your memories had a song. And I think it's still the same, but songs are so different. You know, they're very, um, like every six seconds is something happening. And so, but the one thing that I do know is that music always captures a moment. and. For all of our kids, like I have kids, they'll remember where they were when they heard whatever song, you know, and that will be the song of their growing up. Well, I made the album. Um, I mean, I basically wrote most of it on the back porch of my house. My kids would go to school and then I would sit down and write or play and I recorded most of it on my phone. And then I would send it off to my producer that I asked to produce it and he would just make incredible movies out of these kind of like diary entries. I mean there's a song about, um, you know, there's a, there's a song about how fast time goes, there's a song about AI which is evolution, there's even a song about my alarm clock. I mean there's so many things to write about that um, it just seemed to kind of come together. I toured with Michael in 19... 89 and um, and 1990 and it was interesting I had just moved to Los Angeles I had been a school teacher and I got an audition and then I wound up going on the road with him and I had never been anywhere and if you can imagine being here today and seeing the Rock of Gibraltar and I went on the Rock of Gibraltar on that tour like 40 years ago with my friends in the band. Um, he really, um, I mean, he introduced me to the world, basically. You know, we went everywhere, and it was a great experience. It really was. I think if I had to come up now um, and compete in the world of branding and um, trying to create a big following, I don't know if I would be cut out for it. And also, it's very, it's also very, um, image conscious, you know, there's, it's very sexual. Every girl promotes herself with, you know, like perfect images. And I mean, when I was coming up, I was just playing a guitar, never wore makeup, you know, it was different. I don't know if I'd be cut out for it, but um, I can't see my life without music. You know, it's hard to even imagine it. Um, and also, you know, record labels ran everything, the male promoters, the, you know, everything was run by men. So we've really had to sort of work hard to get to produce ourselves, to get to run our own businesses, and um, a lot's changed. I mean, there's so much good, there's so much great talent out there, and a lot of it is coming from young women. There was a time when I thought um, that we weren't going to see women picking up guitars and writing, you know, fierce, heartfelt songs, that it was all going to be dance routines and lip syncing. But now you turn around and you've got like Olivia Rodrigo, you've got Courtney Barnett, you've got uh, Boy Genius and Phoebe, uh, Phoebe Bridger, you, just so much great music being made by women. And Taylor and Beyonce and 
so it's great. Oh, I love it, I love it. It's so crazy when I think about how far everything has come, you know? Um, I remember seeing footage of the Beatles and they, I mean, the PA was tiny, right? So now we have the capability of making the sound sound like, you know, this is there and that's there and it's all, it's so engineered and beautiful. So it's, I feel spoiled. Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl Crow and we are so excited to play Starlight. This place is just mind blowing. It's so beautiful and just so attached to nature, which I love. Um, and we just can't wait to see everybody. So we're really excited to see you at Starlight. Oh,